Hi, so I have a question for y'all is, where do you get a lot of your wisdom? Who do you go to? What sources do you go to for learning, for wisdom, for insight, whether you're building a business, uh, transitioning or creating a new career? If you're just into personal growth and self-development, like what are you turning to? What books, podcasts, videos, which are very common these days, you know, for us to turn to as resources to get great information and wisdom. Where do you turn? What do you use? I'd love to know. I'd love to hear. Like, what are you using right now to learn about business, about career, about life, about self-development and personal growth? And the reason I'm asking this question is because I've actually been reflecting a lot, especially the last couple of weeks, about where I'm getting a lot of my great insight and wisdom and things and sources for me of learning, of learning not only about creating a business and helping other people, but, you know, life and self-care. And I'm thinking about this a lot because I have been very fortunate with my business, with my career as a career coach and helping others love their career. As I go out to do my podcasts and get to meet other people and sit and learn and listen and hear their story, there are so many people in our community and I bet no matter where you're located, there are people in your community that have amazing stories, amazing backgrounds, are doing great things and that you could learn a lot from. Just this week alone, for example, I've sat down and interviewed and done videos and recorded podcasts with two people, Tony Mosey, Jackie Dacane, doing amazing things. Jackie is the founder of The Art of Fate. She's worked in uh, accessory women, accessory jewelry, makeup, and she's created a mission, an organization, in which they are offering all those goods, all those types of products, but are very socially conscious. And I just, I had an hour interview with her this morning where I got to listen and learn a lot, not only about her backstory, but you know, the tactics, the approach, the mindset, the things that she has done to build a budding, successful organization in business and make a big impact on the world. And it's just so striking to me, you know, same thing yesterday, this week with Tony Mosey and other people I've been around a lot lately, right here in the Boston community, that there is, there's just a lot to learn from, from people right in our community, in our backyard. It's great, believe me, I still love books. I love listening to podcasts. I listen to either a portion or all of a podcast almost every single day. I'll, I'll commonly have uh, videos on and listening to people speak and it's such a blessing and we're so lucky to be able to now like get video and hear talks of uh, really successful, high achieving people, people who are fulfilled and learn from them. So absorb all that, but don't overlook what you have right in your community in your backyard. All right. So I ask you, you know, what are you taking advantage of in your community? Who, what people are you meeting that you can learn from right away just by connecting with them, by listening to their story, ask questions, probe, you know, and, and people love to share their story. People love to talk about themselves and their business. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we do want to bring value to others. And that is a way for so many high achieving people to share more of their value. They'll, they'll share their story and their wisdom. Don't be afraid to ask. So if you're not doing that because of your current job or your current situation, you don't have a lot of time for it, I understand, I know I've been in that place, but know that you can create it, make time for it. Those people are right in your backyard. Andrea DeLucia, another boy, amazing entrepreneur and is doing amazing things. Look up Andrea DeLucia, look up Jackie DeCane, look up Tony Mosey. I mean, these people are making a difference in their community. And while books and podcasts and videos are awesome, great resources for us, you can learn just as much. We don't always have to turn to the famous. We don't always have to turn to the big time CEOs or business owners who create, who wrote a book uh, and are famous and rich and popular. We have so many good resources right in our backyard. So tap into those. Okay. What are you doing? Who are you listening to? Who are you connecting with? that you can learn from. Think about that. And I'm going to continue. I love it. You know, and it is, it's part of my niche. It's part of what I do. Uh, but I put myself out there all the time to meet and learn from others. I don't have to do that as much as I do, but I know I'm benefiting. I'm learning. I'm getting almost like a free education from people who are creating amazing things. I don't care what industry per se they're in, but if they're making an impact, if they're creating, they're great. I want to hear their story. So do the same. We, uh, we have a lot of advantages these days online. Connect with people in your community on LinkedIn. Join the right groups. Ask for a meetup. 
sit down and listen to people. And chances are, by the way, they're going to be really interested in your story too. You know, if you come from a good place of good intentions and you want to learn and you want to learn how to provide value to others, those kind of people will help you. They will definitely help you. I've already seen a lot of that. So anyway, go out there, create your great. And one of the best ways to do it, find the people in your local community that you can learn from. I promise you they are everywhere. There's a lot of us. There's a lot of them out there in this world making a difference. Okay. Uh, here, I'll look forward to hearing from you soon. And do comment. If you know of anybody in your community or just want to share a story, an example, I would love to hear from you. Who are you connecting with that you're learning from? I'll see you soon.